Today we're going to show you how to use an analytical balance correctly. This is an analytical balance uh, of the type that you will see in the pharmacy department. Um, before you even start to weigh, um, it's always important to check that the spirit level is in the centre. Um, you can adjust it. Most balances have little wheels on either side where you can adjust the spirit level so that it's centred. Before you start, uh, check that the balance is zero by pressing the zero button. And then you need to select your chemical. And we have here some calcium carbonate, which when we look at it, is quite safe to use in a balance in the lab. If it was something with a harmful label, of course you might need to go and weigh it in a special weighing cabinet. Select a spatula and a weighing boat. Now I've chosen this weighing boat because unlike the plastic weighing boats that we have here, it's anti-static and it is possible at times to end up creating a static charge in the balance and making it very difficult to weigh. So firstly, place the weighing boat on the balance pan. Just allow the balance to come to a stop and press the zero button again. And this tears the balance boat, and we have it at zero. So now you can take your balance boat off and never be tempted to weigh the material straight in the balance. Always weigh it to the side. Take a small amount of sample into your balance boat. it onto the centre of the balance again and we have a reading. Now in this case we haven't got quite enough sample so we actually need to add a little more. Again don't be tempted to weigh over the balance but take the balance boat off and add a little more sample. You continue in this way until you actually get the amount of sample that you require. I've actually added a little too much. So what we need to do is take another vessel, usually another little balance boat, take the balance pan off and remove a small amount of sample. Never put it back into the original jar. That weight is perfect. So. Now we can put the top back on our bottle and replace onto the shelf where we found it. It's important that we make a note of the weight of the sample. This type of analytical balance weighs to four decimal places. You will notice that the last figure on this type of balance will occasionally fluctuate. This is because this is typical of this type of electronic instrument. Our material is ready for taking up and moving to the side. And then if you've had any spills on the balance, and this always happens to us, even the best of us, just make sure the balance is left in a clean and safe order. And re-zero the balance for the next person.